What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna take a look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 here on the Ally X and Legion Go. I'm a little bit late with these because it's been so busy with videos, but you guys have been asking me if I would test these two devices and finish these out. So I wanted to get these up here. We'll just go through some settings really quickly, look at some resolution and FSR and stuff like that for both of these, running at 25 watts for the game. And we'll start off with the Ally X and then we'll get into the Legion Go. Now, as far as the kind of settings we have for this game, it's fairly basic and I'm gonna concentrate on low and medium presets. Anything above mediums, not really gonna run that great. Anything in the low to medium range though has been fine. We have FSR, we have 720p, 900p, and 1080p as our options here for the Ally X that all work just fine. And this game is pretty well optimized and has been running great on all the handhelds, which has really been good to see, especially since a lot of times we're not getting the best optimized games out here. But Rock Ally X 1080p medium preset native isn't really gonna work out. You could do 720p native, but anyway, I loaded in that way. We're gonna go ahead and kick on FSR here, leave it at balanced, and we'll confirm that with the medium preset here. And that'll instantly bump us up from there to about 40 FPS. So this game's very GPU bound. So the more you adjust your resolution, your FSR and your low and medium settings, the more of a jump you're gonna get. Now, I don't prefer low. It doesn't look that great in a lot of areas of the game. It has a lot of pop in and shadow stuff kind of flickering around, but it does reward you with a lot more uh, FPS, 15 to 20 FPS in most areas of the game if you switch to low. So if you're someone that's more looking for the higher FPS than anything else, you can go with low and you can definitely boost that up. Medium's gonna bring you back down to about 40 FPS there with those settings. Now we can also go in and go to 900p here, which I think is a pretty good sweet spot for this game on the Ally X, still using FSR balanced and the medium preset. And we're gonna come in instead of around 40, like we were at with the 1080p, we'll be at around 50, which gives you a lot more overhead because there's gonna be areas of the game that really dip down another 10 FPS or so. And then of course there's 720p, I'll leave the same settings otherwise and we'll go into that. And that'll take us up to about 62 FPS, so another 12 FPS gain. By doing that again we're very gpu bound so the more you do with your resolution and your graphically intense settings uh the more of a benefit and change you're going to see one way or the other if you're straight up native on 720p you could get away with that you are still going to dip down to close to 30 fps in some areas of the game that i found so far um but yeah you could definitely do that if you wanted to run native only with no fsr but 900p and 1080p i really don't think you'd get away with it unless you go low settings and i don't know that it would be worth it so for me here, 900p medium preset, FSR quality is kind of enough of a sweet spot for just going around and playing the game and not really having any kind of problems, whether I'm traveling around, whether I'm getting into fights or walking around villages, whatever the case may be, um, you know, traveling on the horse, you'll see everything's pretty smooth here. You will occasionally get like a little load in stutter. It doesn't happen that often on the Ally X. It happens a little bit more on the Legion Go, which could be due to the fact that we do have the 24 gigabytes of RAM here. And I noticed this game does like to use between 17 and 20 total gigabytes of RAM between VRAM and system RAM. So the 16 gigabytes on the Legion Go is probably what's getting us, but we'll take a look at that uh, soon. But yeah, pretty much anywhere uh, I would walk around and get into things here. Everything stayed nice and smooth, which I wasn't surprised. I've been playing this game a lot on a few different PCs. We've already tested on the Steam Deck and the MSI Claw where it ran well. And I never really get any stutters on any of the devices when I'm in one spot. Like when I'm in battle uh, with groups of enemies or whatever the case may be, working on quests and stuff like that, um, no stutters. I've never seen really much in the way of like a frame time spike or stutter or issue or anything that would mess up my parry or my dodges because it can be pretty easy to get overwhelmed and, and killed off in this game uh, if you can't keep up with the dodging and all that. So if you had a lot of stutter issues, it would be a problem. And again, if you want higher frame rate for this stuff, you can certainly get it by playing around with that resolution and those presets or in between low and medium. So one more quick look here. We'll just be running on the horse at around 35, 36 FPS right there. We're gonna go in and we'll just change this to low. Just show you one more time out in the open world moving around what kind of a boost that'll do for you if you're looking for it. We'll change that and we should get up into over 60 FPS here. Yeah, pretty close, 58, 59, 61, yeah. So typically, you know, you're gonna gain 20 FPS or more in some of these areas 
uh, that you're roaming around depending on what you do. Now there's also uh, AF, MF2, AMD's Fluid Motion Frames, and Lossless that you could use for the game, but I really don't recommend any frame gen for the game. It just makes it feel worse and it's not necessary in a kind of slow paced game that this is. It runs well enough, but you can activate and run Fluid Motion Frames on the Ally X and you'll see later on on the Legion Go as well. It's fine, I just I wouldn't need to use it here. Um, and I just think it runs fine without it. So we can also use lossless scaling, which is pretty smooth. I really like the updates they've had for this, and I've used it in a lot of games where it could use some help. And of course, you want to lock your FPS to something like 30, right? So you can get a 60 FPS experience here. But again, I just don't think it's really worth it. You lose a lot of base performance when you kick on lossless still on these systems. And Sure, you can still lock it and get 60, but to me, just adjusting the settings to get 40 to 60 on its own native without frame gen is better. But you can use either one of these if you want to get into it here on the systems. But yeah, that's what we're looking at for running on the Ally X. Let's go ahead and move over, take a look at the Legion Go. It's very similar, but we're going to be running different resolutions, and we got a little different RAM set up here. We got 16 gigs instead of 24 which does make a difference in a lot of these games that are using up a lot more ram 1000p is also not great for this game it's too close to the 1080 on the ally x so 1200p uh for kind of the max there and then 800p is really the good spot for the ally or i mean for the legion go here so uh getting into it legion go 1200p medium preset we're about 4 fps less than the ally x sitting still here but that's because we're 1200p versus the 1080 that it had so we'll go ahead and go in here if we turn on FSR, just like we did previously, we'll go FSR balanced, and we should jump up from that 24 up to about um, 44, I think. Let's see where we wind up here, 37 on 1200. Okay, so we boosted up there about um, 13 FPS. So similar to what we saw happen over on the ROG Ally X. And if we go in here to low, Switch that over, give it a second to load in, and that again, low is not my preferred, but it is going to reward you with a lot of performance boost. So we'll go up to 50 now, another 13 or 14 FPS gained. So again, very GPU bound, just like the Ally X, little changes to your resolution, your FSR, and your low and medium settings will make a big difference how things run. Let's go ahead and switch this over to 800p, which I think is the better way to go here on the device, especially if you want to run medium like I've been doing. But of course, on low, we can get all the way up to 85 FPS just sitting still here, still using FSR bounce. Again, lots of overhead that they've given us when it comes to the low end settings and the FSR. It's when you get into medium and higher that it really starts to come down a lot. So we'll go in here and save that. We'll go to the medium preset, FSR bounce 800p here and uh, 57 FPS or so there. And the six gigs of VRAM seems to work pretty well for this device, four or six, but it does use over four VRAM a lot of the time. So I really like using that for that. But overall, the 16 gigs total, I just don't think is quite enough uh, for this game here. There's native 800p, similar to the native 720p. You could get away with it here on the go, but I don't think it's going to hold up the best in certain areas of the game when you get down into the lower 30s or maybe lower than that. So... We'll go ahead and change this back. So FSR quality, medium preset, 800p. And I think this is the sweet spot. Very similar to the settings we had on the Ally X at 900p, except we're at 800p here for the 1610, which is going to give us a bit better performance than the 900p scaled with, with FSR quality on this device. But again, you will notice some additional like load-in stuttering when you're out in the open world or in some of the village areas when you move from spot to spot and it seems like it's loading in the next area. Now that could be more driver related, but I also have been running into games where, like I said, this game likes to use 17 to 20 gigabytes total of VRAM and system RAM. And we don't have that here, so it could be some swapping and stuff that's going on as well. Because if I were to put these side by side, a lot of these areas that you get, these like load in stutters and whatnot on the Legion Go, don't necessarily always happen on the Ally X or over on the MSI Claw, which has 32 gigs of RAM. So again, it could be some driver stuff and other things like that too, but I kind of am attributing it to just the total 16 gigs of RAM we have on the system, but it doesn't affect gameplay very much. It doesn't happen that often. And just like over on the Ally X, if you're in battle in an area or in a camp or on a quest or in one spot, whatever the case may be, um, it stays very smooth and I don't experience any kind of frame time spikes or stutters or issues uh, most of the time in these spots. So for the most part, it runs just as good, but it's that moving around and loading into different areas. But I think this 800p medium preset area works out pretty well. You could always lower just a few settings and start upping that FPS as well. But Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 seems pretty well optimized here. It's been running great on all the handhelds, running great on my desktop PCs. And it's available on GeForce Now if you want to stream it there with your GeForce Now account. 
on the cloud, it's also nice to run it that way as well. Same thing here when we're running on the horse on medium, I'll just show you the quick switch over to low like we did over on the Ally X that here and you'll get a nice little boost in your frame rate. And there we go, load into low there. All right, and just like over on the Ally X, you can use AMD's Fluid Motion Frames 2 or uh, lossless scaling because with the updated drivers from Lenovo, both of these devices are using only official drivers from the companies, nothing sideloaded. You can use um, lossless and Fluid Motion Frames 2 on here. So we'll go ahead and take a quick look at that. The first thing we'll do is kick on lossless, scale, and come back in here and again you do lose base performance just like on the ally x so 50 fps we're going to come down to 39 fps on our base from that so we lost 11 fps by kicking that on um, but of course it is doing like it did on the ally x and doubling that frame rate giving us 73 74 again you'd want to lock the 30 for a 60 but i just don't think any kind of frame gen is worth it in this game AMD Fluid Motion Frames is kicked on here, doubling our frame rate as well. And on the go, AMD Fluid Motion Frames is especially janky on the official driver here. So uh, I wouldn't use that. I would use lossless if you're going to use any frame gen at all. But again, I just don't see the point. The game runs way too good and feels great without any of that. No additional input latency or anything introduced that way. So anyways, guys, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 running great on the Ally X, the Legion Go, and really all the devices I've tried it on. So kudos to them for making us a beautiful, well-optimized game to play here. And I know I'm really enjoying my time with it. Hopefully you guys are too. All right, as always, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.